Hey guys, Karina here. It's 2024. If you're wondering what are the fashion trends gonna be this year, what's in, what's out, I have done the homework so you guys don't have to. Unlike most of the other trend predictions videos out there, my research is always based on reputable fashion designers with actual fashion shows featuring their ready-to-wear collection on the runway. So, you know, it's just a little bit more credible than TikTok. Runway fashion isn't exactly the most wearable fashion out there. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the trends that are in for this year but i'm also going to take the time to show you guys how to style each trend in a more wearable everyday way okay for you fashion for people the first one you guys may have already heard of and that is the mob wife aesthetic it's blowing up all over social media right now we've seen plenty of these sicilian type designs on the runways of designer houses like dolce and gabbana moschino prada and chloe so in case you're not familiar with the mob wife aesthetic it's basically giving a dark feminine energy we're talking about lots of faux fur the leather, red nails, and a face full of glam makeup and glam hair. Completely picture Fran from The Nanny. Big hair, bold outfits, endless supply of animal print clothing. A really easy way to incorporate this into your own style is just to go for an all black outfit. And then for shoes, you're gonna go for your stilettos, your thinnest, highest stiletto that is the most uncomfortable to wear dig it all up i'm assuming the mob wife have people driving her around so she doesn't need to actually walk on her stilettos for long and then you're gonna make sure that your hair is as big and voluminous as you possibly can throw in some shades for that mysterious vibe and then you're gonna go for any faux fur coat that you have like this gorgeous brown faux fur coat you can also go for like a long leather trench like this one with a faux fur collar this one is so bad I absolutely love it so much. I featured it on my socials quite a bit and I'm always getting questions on where it's from. So everything in this video will be linked down in the description box below. So if you're watching this video on your phone, here is how you can see all the links. If you're watching this video on the desktop, here is how you can see all the links as well as the sizes that I'm wearing. If you're not a fan of such dark looks, you can also go for a muted, kind of toned down look, but you're still kind of embracing that whole trend with this look as well. And there you have it. Simple mob wife based outfit. I have a love-hate relationship with the second trend, and that is tights. Now, as you guys all know, I love my tights. I love my sheer tights, my fleece tights. So while those are still staying in trend this year, 2024 will be the year of fun and unusual colors and prints for tights. Think eccentric English lit teacher who shows up in class every day with a different pair of tights. One pattern that's trending is lace and lace tights are a great choice whenever you want to jazz up your outfit and you don't want to go for the traditional sheer tights. But we're also going to see colorful tights too and a huge trend I'm seeing right now is red all over, especially opaque red tights. Jenny is also a huge trend of wearing opaque black tights last year at the Met and also wearing white dresses with black tights and white dresses with white lace tights. So these are a pair of black lace tights that I picked up from Dynamite and and a lot of people are asking me how do you style lace tights and I'm just gonna throw them over my existing sheer tights right now because it is cold outside. One hack that I always like to do is layering on my sheer tights and because they're so thin they don't really add any bulk to your legs. And in case you guys will like additional warmth you can always go for fleece tights on the bottom and then have the lace ones over. The safest, easiest, most wearable version of styling these lace tights are to go with a black skirt. I get so many questions on the score they look like they're a mini skirt but they actually are shorts also i want you guys to hit that like button if you're like me and you also have an undying love for skirts or shorts underskirts such a lifesaver because we already have a key piece in our outfit which is the lace pattern we don't want the rest of our outfit to be too loud here i am wearing the same brown coat from earlier this can also be a mafia boss look if you're feeling a little bit on the more adventurous side you can switch off the skirt for something a little bit more bolder so here i am wearing a red faux leather skirt which is also a trend that we're gonna talk about in a sec basically giving our outfit a pop of color and also texture and then if you're feeling more daring you can go for something like a faux leather trench coat this one is my absolute favorite one ever this look can also be classified as a mop wide aesthetic let me know in the comment section which one you guys prefer the more understated look or the bolder look what if i told you that skinny jeans are gonna be back in for 2024 millennials rejoice however we're no longer gonna see skinny jeans in the form like this but we're gonna see skinny jeans more like this 
This is a great way for us to reuse our beloved skinnies if you haven't thrown them out yet. Here I'm wearing my all-time favorite skinny jeans, these ones I've had for years and it's super stretchy, it fits me like a glove. If you're gonna go for something that's this skin tight, make sure make sure you go with knee-high boots and some kind of structured jacket, so like a boucle jacket would be a good one. Any kind of blazer would be also a good option. Just make sure you stay away from ankle boots or over-the-knee boots plus something loose and oversized on top. And because spring is coming, here is another way you can style skinny jeans. You can go for something a little bit less skin tight, but they're still slim fitting. And this way you can avoid the whole outdated and uncomfortable look. So these are my favorite straight leg jeans that's on the slimmer side. And I also paired it with my Chanel lookalike jacket, but you're not paying the Chanel price tag. I actually can't believe I found this for like $50. Very thick knit kind of fabric. If we have Chanel and Celine have a love child together in the form of a cardigan that doesn't cost an arm and a leg, this cardigan would be it. It's also linked in the description. Drop waist will be the silhouette for 2024. So in between your waist area and your hips area, we're seeing a lot of brands incorporate this silhouette into their runway shows. Spring, summer 24, like Nina Ricci, Zimmerman, and Shiatsi Chen. So if you're tired of the classic A-line silhouette, this might be a new trend for you to play around with. Personally, I'm not a fan of drop-waisted anything. I think for someone who has a very long upper torso, this is not as flattering as your traditional A-line shape flare. You're essentially elongating your upper torso even more with the drop waist, having the flare start a lot lower than your natural waistline. Leave me a comment and let me know if drop waist is the silhouette for you this year. I've come up with two looks that embody this trend. So the first look, we have just a long oversized sweater plus a mini black skirt. So to turn it into a drop waist silhouette, we're not going to tuck anything in. So we're just going to have the sweater hang loose over the skirt. I saw this photo on Pinterest right here and I really want to recreate it so let me know how I did. I also think the style is extremely wearable out because we're seeing it already. A lot of people in our everyday life are styling this. If you want to go more mainstream like proper drop ways then this is the outfit for you. So here I have a off the shoulder top paired with a proper drop waisted skirt. Let me know if this is something that you would actually wear in real life. Okay, my skirt loving girlies, you guys are gonna love this one. Prep school and preppy styles are back in trend for 2024. Huge designer brands like Miu Miu, Louis Vuitton, Vivian Westwood have showcased a great influx of preppy styles in their runway shows, which is right up my alley. In a way, this is kind of similar to the old money quite a luxury aesthetic that was super, super big in 2023. We're still seeing a little bit of that in 2024, but with just a little bit more color and a little less modest. So in terms of the actual preppy style, we're moving away from the Y2K kind of preppy, thank God, to the 90s Ralph Lauren, old money kind of preppy style. So think less Mean Girls preppy and more Rachel Green working at Ralph Lauren type of preppy. Pieces that will be trending include polo shirts, Ralph Lauren, anything really. Pleated skirts, ballerina flats, a lot of button downs and blazers. So very similar to the 90s aesthetic. I've tried my best to emulate my favorite Rachel Green style from this photo right here. Not only is it Rachel style, it's also Taylor style because Taylor Swift did like a recreation of this outfit. Starting off with this black turtleneck that's so stretchy and comfortable and then going in with a gray pleated skirt that is again pair of squirts. Shorts that are made from the same fabric as the outside layer. Chef's kiss. We're gonna recreate that drop waist silhouette with this belt here. So here I'm just putting it a little bit lower than my natural waistline, finishing up with knee-high boots. I also want you guys to leave me a comment on whether you guys like Friends because it is one of my favorite shows ever. I can just like rewatch all 10 seasons right now and know exactly what line each character is going to say at any point in time. <laughs> this one is kind of like a continuation from the 2023 fall winter trend of micro and mini bottoms. However, this year is gonna be a less Jessica Simpson type of hot pants, but more of like a classic route. Brands like Miu Miu, Dolce Gabbana, Nina Ricci introducing a more elegant version. For those of you whose best features are your legs, this is your time to flaunt them, your time to shine. So I have here a pair of pleated skirt that is quite abnormal. This one is 
no doubt on a micro version it's not a regular skirt it's a micro skirt it looks a little bit more unfinished and like a lot of raw hems on the inside which honestly is not my favorite but it's a lot better than mini skirts with nothing at all on the inside also i wore the skirt in the snow in this picture right here and you guys can see how lip and short it is and i also wanted to hop onto the micro shorts trend so i got myself a micro shorts these ones i wore in this video right here i don't know guys i'm starting to see captain underpants and i cannot unsee it with micro shorts that are so short they legit look like underwear trying to be all like fashion forward and you know like wear what the designers are introducing is going to be popular this year but sometimes you just really gotta make a call you know do you feel confident wearing that piece of trend at the end of the day we should all wear what makes us happy all wear what makes us confident irregardless of any trend oops i forgot my pants trend are you gonna be bride in 2024? If you are, then you'll love to hear that 2024 will be the year for bridal fashion. Head to toe bridal white elements. Also seeing a lot of lace, a lot of ruffle, soft colors, a lot of white. Valentino, Ellie Sapp, and Zimmerman, they were totally inspired by the bridal season. Especially during the spring summertime, white dresses will replace our usual floral prints and floral dresses. Only not to weddings if you're a guest, of course. Unless you're Kelly Kapoor and there was an emergency but you're not supposed to wear white to a wedding i know but there was an emergency i look really good in white the color white isn't too difficult to style on its own so i think one of the most wearable ways to style this is to just go for a white top with a pair of white pants here i'm wearing the same off shoulder top from earlier and my effortless pants that i absolutely love to wear this spring summertime and if you guys are thinking like korean yeah, that's way too boring please have something more exciting for me to wear i've got the answer for you so here i am in this extremely uncomfortable but beautiful lace top the price point is a little bit on the my wallet is crying side but i absolutely adore it look at it it is so beautiful the back has this really pretty lace up pattern that you can cinch in however tight you want it does come pretty cropped though so i'm styling it with a a-line skirt if you need further inspo on how to style these these celebrities are also huge fans of this trend the next trend is something that's been happening for a while now and i don't know the name for it i've seen a lot of terms for it coquette girl core ballet core just bows and ribbons so i think it all originated last year in 2023 with the ballet core emerging and this year we're going to be seeing that but like tenfold more feminine an explosion of people putting ribbons and bows on literally everything i've put ribbons on my platform uggs i've seen people put a pink ribbon on the handbrake in their car i've seen people put ribbons on eggs that they're cooking for breakfast barbie pink is out and it's getting replaced by a more soft muted version of pinks in general moshino and kim shrey perfectly summarizes this trend definitely among the younger generation but in case you are a millennial and you're like no karina i am not putting pink ribbons around my white earmuffs and wearing it out when I'm in my 30s. I completely hear you. What we're going to do is we're just going to stick to our usual blacks and whites and toned down colors. I have a couple of bow clips for the hair that I think is a really wearable way to style this trend i have actually styled these in my winter lookbook i also like wearing this you know like with my all black outfits i just feel like it adds that girl core trend let me know what you guys think of these ribbons in your hair do you guys remember this handbag this belt comes with a little dangling rhinestone purse that contains everything i learned in school well the era of dainty and tiny jewelry and accessories are out getting replaced in 2024 we're gonna see an emergence of chunky giant accessories when i say accessories i mean mainly jewelry and bags the bigger the better on the runways we're seeing a lot of mega size bags and statement jewelry from designers like stella mccartney bottega veneta and coach in particularly these kind of like teardrop earrings i'm seeing all around my feet these earrings have a weird geometrical shape to them which is something that we're gonna see a lot more of this year when it comes to bags these tote bags are the biggest bags that i own and i just feel like they hold so much more things they're so much more practical than tiny mini bags so this one is a sime or a seam 
mini. I love that it's very lightweight, so it's actually practical to carry out too. I'll be linking all of these bags as well as my jewelry in the description box below. Color trends of 2024. So officially, the Pantone color of the year is fuzzy peach or like a really pastel shade of yellow mixed with a pastel shade of pink. Across the runways, we're seeing it on designers like Ellie Subt, Stella McCartney. And we're not only going to be seeing it in terms of fashion, we're also going to see it in our makeup too. Peachy eyeshadows, peachy blush, even peachy nails are going to be in once the mob wife aesthetic red nails are out. In a lot of the boutiques and the designers that I'm looking at, lemon yellow is a huge, huge color right now like in january i've been obsessed with this color ever since i saw kate hudson wear it in how to lose a guy in 10 days i even found a very very similar dress to that one i'm going to show you i mean just look at this how iconic this dress also comes with a crisscross design at the back very similar to the one she was wearing in the movie another way to style lemon yellow that is not in a gown <laughs> is to pair it with an existing neutral color so in this case i'm going with white because white and yellow matches the best together you can also go for something like a yellow top like this like a cardigan or like a bodysuit like this and then pair it with your effortless pants or pair it with a white skirt this color palette just reminds me that spring is coming so it gives us something to look forward to when there's a blizzard outside ever since doja cat painted the town red last year in 2023 fashion trends are painting our entire wardrobe that way this year when i tell you that cherry red is going to be the barbie pink for 2024 it's big it's massive we have dresses outerwear, trench coats, even faux leather will all be available in the shade of red. Styling wise, this may seem a little bit more intimidating, but you know what I found goes really well with red? Dark gray. Somehow dark gray and dark red together is like the perfect chef's kiss color combo. So I have here a red lounge set from Skims and we're just going to throw over a pleated gray skirt from earlier and then to tie the whole look together we're also going to pop on some mary jane some gray socks as well as a long gray coat not forgetting our red accessory as always all the items will be linked down below in the description box so this last trend is about your hair side parts are back let me film this segment with a side part The dramatic and voluminous side part inspired by who other than the Queen Sophia Ritchie. On top of these side parts that we're seeing, we're also going to be stacking on some coquette girliness to this. If you go on Pinterest, there's actually a whole section called bow stacking. But if you're crazy about bows and ribbons, especially in your hair, good news for you, you don't have to stick to one bow at a time. Let me know which trend you're looking forward to the most this year in 2024, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.